<laughs> we were talking about life at Chelsea under Roman Abramovich. Many Chelsea fans get in touch this morning asking me to ask you, what was life like under Roman? Oof. Amazing owner, amazing owner, uh, football man as well. I think a lot of people thought, you know, it was it was going to be this owner who just threw money at the club and wasn't involved in the day-to-day -day activities. He wasn't at the club every day, but he, boy, he knows what was going on every day. Um, you know, he, he came to the games. Every game, he was always coming into the dressing room. Some games, he comes into the dressing room, especially the big games, uh, like the Champions League uh, games. He always comes into the dressing room after the game, you know, whether what we did he win say? or lose. What you know, he was say? always there. It was just, you know, oh, sorry, you know, you know, I know you guys did your best, um, you know, but next time, we, you know, we have to win. You know, we have to win. You know, he always <laughs> wanted to win games. For him, you know, for him, it was about winning, winning games. Um Great owner. Um, you know, the, the only thing with him, you know, is that when you see the helicopters, uh, you know, flying around the training ground, you know that the manager is going to be sacked. Uh, so that's how we knew. <laughs> <laughs> that's Seriously. how we knew. Yeah, you, I mean, you knew when the when the helicopter arrived, yeah, yeah. here's Roman. Someone's going to be out of a exactly. job in a minute. When we start, when we're not performing, because you know, at the club, for I was there for almost eleven years. You know, we had our downside where we weren't performing well, and then the managers got sacked. But we always knew when it was mm. going to happen. Uh, once we see Roman's helicopter, you know, around the training ground in the morning. Uh, so we know the manager's, you know, is getting fired. Joe, you know, it's funny, it's funny wow. he says that because wow. even at Fulham with Al Fired, he, he would occasionally come in just for a, to see people. But generally, if there's a little entourage coming in, you're thinking, oh... Something's about to happen. Something's yeah. Something. So yeah. when you saw the helicopter, it was Abramovich arriving, <laughs> and no doubt a manager would be in a meeting or maybe out of a job or whatever. But let me ask you this, John. At that time, Czech was there, Terry yeah. was there, Lampard was there, Drogba was there. You're opinionated. You've got your own voice. Yeah. Was there maybe too much player power? How oh, much player power was oh, there? Oh yeah, there was. I mean, did you guys run it? I think obviously one man that actually absolutely did run it was John Terry. You know, JT was you know JT was the man. Um, you know, I think most most on in a good way. Yeah, in a good way on the pitch. You know, JT was the man. Uh, and sometimes as well when this you know the dressing room is not together, he was the guy that always brought us together. On the pitch, of the pitch, you know, he was he was he he was the leader. And like you've just said, there's too many players here with with big egos, the likes of DJ Drogba, Frank Lampard, Peter Cech. Ashley Cole, you know, everybody has their own opinion. Uh, mm. But at the end of the day, you know, JT was the guy who made the decisions. You know, but when you look the, at the list of managers yeah, in your yeah. time, Mourinho, Avram Grant, Scolari, Hiddink, Ancelotti, Village Bosch, Di Matteo, Rafa Benitez, Antonio Conte. If you wanted someone out, the players could get that someone out. <laughs> Is that right? That's I mean, the same I, everywhere. You did not, you were not having Rafa Benitez, were you? No, we were not. We were not. And, <laughs> you, and you made that clear. <laughs> we made that clear. I think, I think obviously probably from his time at Liverpool, mm. uh, obviously Liverpool was a big rival, uh, rivalry for us. Um, but coming into the club as well, I think the fans also didn't like Rafa. You know, I think there was something about Rafa and the fans that the fans didn't take to him. And same as well with the players. We didn't really accept him as one of us. Uh, and, and then and, he had the thing with JT. Yeah, well. and then he had the thing with JT, you know, where JT got dropped. Uh, JT wasn't playing as much that, as much as he wanted because obviously JT was always playing. And Rafa comes, he was like, okay, you're not going to play every game. Uh, but obviously JT wanted an explanation. Why am I not playing? And Rafa didn't give him that. Mm -mm. And, and So uh, did you players get together and think, well, we, we need to help JT out here? Yeah, JT got together by himself and decided, you know, your time is gone. <laughs> So you make no bones about it, John. The players had the power. You know, we had the power. We had the power. I think I think JT, Frank, uh, DDA, DDA was very opinion. DDA had a lot of voice in the dressing room. Um, uh, uh, Peter Cech. These were the guys who ran the dressing room. And and when the, when they feel like, okay, this manager is not giving the players what we want and we're not playing as much as we want, we're not enjoying ourselves the way we want to enjoy ourselves. And he's gone. You know, we'll come together, we'll, you know, try to, you know, figure out a way whereby, you know, <laughs> we'll get someone in that we want. And, and was Abramovich just... aware that you guys were virtually running it? Yeah, yeah, he knew that. But at the end of the day, he wanted us to be happy as well because at the end of the day, the football players, the players are the most important people <laughs> In the club, I think you got. Be, sometimes it sounds like a bad thing what you're saying in terms of players running. The, you know, the manager should run it. But what yeah. you, I think what you're trying to, or what you're talking about, is players wanting 
the best and wanting good results and a win. Yeah, exactly. It's not just yeah. you want These players control. sound yeah. like your worst nightmare, don't they? No, but, <laughs> if that's why, no, but if you, Simon, if you were the owner there and you're, you're well aware of the power that JT had and Czech and Drogba and John here, yeah. you're up against it as an well, owner. Only if, only if the manager's wrong. If the manager's right, then you're not. Yeah, if you, I mean, I yeah. would look at it and say that it's a very difficult case to make to drop John, John Terry because I think he's the ultimate leader. Yeah. Unless his form had dropped off a cliff and the manager's making a point, I'd be inclined to support the manager. But when you look at the background noise where Roman tried to make changes, I think Villas Boas was the one that tried to break up the dressing room and was sent with the task to get hold of John, to get hold of Frank, to get hold Frank, of Ashley yeah. Cole, yeah. and he couldn't do it. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. the owner changed his mind and went with the players. I don't think it's ideal that you back the players because ultimately the manager is your champion. But Roman Abramovich did things differently because people won competitions as managers as Chelsea and got fired. Yeah, yeah. And well, that that's doesn't the happen thing. in any other clubs. Dimitri yeah. won the Champions League and was out in the Monday. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, on Benita specifically, did you conspire you lot to get rid of him? <laughs> I don't think we conspired really. I just think, you know, we, we weren't just playing as great because obviously he... You know, he had a lot of big players that weren't playing. And when those players are not playing, you can feel a little bit of tension in the, you know, in the dressing room and yeah. around the place. Yeah. And it starts to affect the, you know, you know, the team. And that's just, that's just purely what happened. And uh, It happens and, naturally. Yeah, it just happens players naturally. Play, yeah. What players do, Jim, yeah. is they see things fall in a bit. Yeah. And players getting annoyed. And, and all of a sudden, there's fractions. And right. players start doing this. Right. They're talking, yeah. And they're uh, going, yeah. what's he doing? Yeah. We and better watch. You're not going to yeah. get together with Murphy or me and Simon <laughs> out before yeah. we get to yeah. one. Yeah, and this, and, and you love it. Things, you yeah. you'll be sat there next week. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Good morning. It's John Obi Mikel and Simon Jordan, and we're live in Talk Sport. Jim White has gone. He is uh, holidaying somewhere abroad with Rafa Benitez. Yeah. <laughs> John Obi Mikel, sensational. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Friday mornings from ten on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.